Hello, friends, and I'm back. So I'm gonna start with a new run right away. What do we have here? Vampiric Sword. Well, that didn't work too well last time around. And an explosive projectile. Well, maybe I have more luck with the Vampiric Sword this time around. As long as they shoot projectiles that I can just destroy with the sword, that's totally fine. Please don't hurt us. We are simple followers, lost in an unfamiliar place. The great Sozo sent us to find more of his beloved mentisite mushrooms. He cares only for mushrooms. His madness grows. But when we arrived, we realized we don't know how to find mentisite mushrooms. And now we are too afraid to return empty-handed. If you were to bring him mentisite mushrooms, he would certainly reward you. We'll find him at Spore Grotto. Okay. Now I need mushrooms. Oh, oops. I guess they don't like it when I hit them. Okay. That guy again. Five points to pentagram. Five... Wait, five points? Okay, what is this? <laughs> Harry Potter, apparently. Five portents of doom. Five siblings stood abreast. Five gods and one tomb. Shamura, we did not wish to bother you, but... Shamura, the red crown grows stronger by the day. Already it has succeeded where he has failed before. Leshi has been slain. Five becomes four, becomes three, becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. Okay, I don't like that guy. He's speaking in riddles. Shamura, rest. We will deal with this, won't we, Kalama? Yes, sister. Of course, sister. You there, vessel of the Red Crown. Bow to me, or you will regret it. No. You will bow, or I will make you. No. There's something falling from the ceiling, sky, whatever we call it here. Uh, acquired small mushroom candle. Sure. Alright. Well, uh, I mean, not exactly an interesting choice here. and a fast blade. Huh. Yeah, but it doesn't have any effect, it seems, so I'm gonna take this one. Uh, what does recycle mean? Oh! Nice. Cannot destroy those projectiles, it seems. Oh, 
Oh, time for my vampiric scepter, vampiric sword to do its thing. And give me some life back. Leafy Lantern. I mean, with these enemies, as long as I keep hitting them, they are not really doing much. So. Good for me. Increases chance to spawn better chests. Uh, sure. I'm gonna take that. Oh no, which one should I pick? Oh, almost got to the next level. And another decoration. Oh, at some point I recovered some HP, which I kind of lost again. And I lost some more. Maybe I should not look look at my health points while fighting these enemies. Wasn't exactly the smartest thing. Poisoning or chance of nothing. Why oh, keep what I have? Oh, I'll take the chance of poisoning. Oh, and of course, recycle. And another count. What can it do? Enemies have a chance to drop a fish. Well, helps with the one quest, but I could imagine better things. Ah, nice. And I'm at full health again. Receive double the health when healing. Well, that's nice and all, but I actually need something to heal me. Also, if I have to boss fight now, I guess there's nothing to heal me anymore. But unless I take damage now and I'm lucky enough to find something uh, that heals me before the fight. Oh, found a fish. Flaming shot or hounds of fate. What's this? Shoots multiple projectiles and see enemies. That's, that's good. And uh, recycle that one. Okay, that just deleted this one enemy. And another card. I'm really lucky with cards today. Curses consume 50% less fervor. Oh, nice. It's a Divine Curse Plus, so I guess that's what I got from the upgraded chest. Well, 
actually the thing with recycling and all that it might have changed because I patched before I started the game today. Uh, so they may have adjusted some small things. I didn't really read the patch notes. I just realized these stones that are falling from the sky, they have quite wide books. So I really need to be careful with those. Oh, so cute. Oh boy. And he dropped the fish. Come to me, my follower. Lumber, pumpkins, pumpkin seeds. No, I'm gonna take the lumber because I need some extra resources. Great. And that's the second room. Savior. Vessel, do you not worship me? Do you not give offerings in hope of gaining my favor? When you return to your cult, you shall find a new offering chest. There you can provide offerings that I, in my generosity, shall turn to gold, so that you might strengthen the cult. But I am not easily satisfied. The same gift offered too frequently will cause the price to be lowered. Yet fear not, over time it will grow in value once more. Give me proper tribute and you shall be rewarded. Well, I mean, at least I'm getting gold back. Usually if, if you give tribute to some cult, uh, they just keep it. Alrighty. Oh, someone has a quest for me. What up? Oh! My faith is shaken. I can see through your lies. You are a fraud and I must tell the others. Dissenter. A follower has begun dissenting against you. This happens when the cult's faith is too low. Really? It wasn't that low, I think. A traitor is spreading falsehoods about you. Other followers may also be led astray. We educate them or put them in prison to bring them back into the loving embrace of the cult. Or just sacrifice them. You make the rules after all. Ho ho ho. First, let's recruit this one. Yes, follow me. What are the perks? Michi loses faith and heals faster when in bed rest. Sure. Um, yeah, worship for now. Okay, what can I unlock? Prison would be nice. This one. Uh, a place for followers who are not worshipping to pray throughout the day and deposit devotion. 
Oh, I'm gonna take the body pit because I'm not sure what happens to the body after I sacrifice that dude. Where is the descent? Uh? Oh, whatever. I hope I can tell from here. Which one? Um. Oh, wow. I really am low. But yeah. I'm gonna sacrifice the descent. Oh, he was level 2. Oh, well. Okay. They just keep cheering. Sure. Curse of the Cultist. Or increase the total amount of fervor you can hold. Oh no, I'm gonna go for this option. If we have more curses. Oh. And some resources. And I got an achievement. The first death. Probably not the last. Maybe I should have done the sermon beforehand. Okay, anything I can do here? Doesn't look like it. Rituals. Can I do one of the other rituals? Yes. Cost. Bones. Yep, let's do a feast. Also on cooldown now. Could do a bonfire ritual, but let's look around what else I can do outside of well, a church here. Uh, okay, some sickness. You go to bed. Thank you, leader. My faith in you was justified. Not sure what I did, but they love me. something new. Huh? Yes. You are blessed. Oh, come back here. Ah, yes. Yes, we need food. Let's cook some stuff. Where's my sick dude? Better than nothing. Oh, let's give them the berries. I hope no one ate all of them before he got the chance. Wait. What? Uh, that follower, a follower has died. Commiserations on your loss. Corpses are not good for sanitation and are likely to cause other followers to get sick. You need to bury your follower into a body pit or grave to prevent them from get going rotten. Of course, that is a lot of meat to just go to waste. Yeah, well. But I mean, they just ate my food and died. I mean, what the fuck, guys? No respect. They could have died before eating the food. <laughs> uh, let's put that up here. One, two, three. Then. Bed rest. You. Bed rest.
Nope, nope, nope. Keep working so I can put the bodies away. Okay. I hope they can recover. Wait. My faith is non existent anymore. Well, that's bad. something to increase well anything so what can I do with this A new doctrine yes yes death is not the end the necessity of a sacrifice or the comfort of the afterlife Well, if only I could have done this before. So this is more faith when I sacrifice people. Oh, and... Hmm. Let's take this one because I don't understand why the others died. And this one will make it so that I lose less faith when it happens again. Because it basically destroyed all of the faith that my followers had. Sermon. Oh wait, no, I did that already. No, I want to do a ritual. No, oh boy. Patience, patience when clicking around. Let's do this. Let's dance around the bonfire. Well, actually, I think I could lose access to the dungeon if I lose too many followers. Huh, that would be bad. like a bug. So I'm harvesting it and usually there would be this red circle that progresses. Uh, but no, there isn't. So that's weird. Can't win them all. So I wonder what else could I do to increase the faith? I could go around and bless each and every one of them individually. I guess. What up? Benevolent leader, please don't judge me, but I've always wanted to eat a meal made of poop. Will you help me satisfy this dark desire? Uh, I guess so. basically wished for a poop meal and then fell asleep on the spot. I guess that's one way of doing it. Oh, sorry. Keep sleeping. There's so many of them. Well, there's still a free bet. I'm confused. He wants to eat poop. He deserves a bet. Um, do we have the poop meal? Wait. Did I... Craft a deadly dish before. Oh my god! 75% chance of the follower dying instantly. 
Huh. Well, now I know why they died. I gave them poison food. Oh, crap. Okay, let this be a lesson. <laughs> I should always read what these things are actually doing for my followers. Okay. But I can make the poop dish. So which one was it? It was him, I think. Wake up. Wow, you did it truly. You are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. I mean, if that satisfies them, satisfies them. Oh, oh yes. Wait, wait. I wanna do more. Can I send them to bed? Yes. Resources. Okay. What could I sell? Stone blocks. Bones. Now I get the red circle again. Well, he could have slipped somewhere else, but this problem. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, right. New day, new sermon. Gain half a heart. Yep, sounds like a pretty good upgrade. And then soon I can also upgrade the next weapon level. Yep, would have been helpful if I didn't kill some of my followers. But well, what can you do? Also unlocked some new place. Yep. The spore grotto. Let's see what this is about. Mushroom. Once you taste the menticide mushroom, your mind will be opened. Uh-huh. Sounds like a psychedelic. Redecorations, all found by our great leader, the glorious Sozo. Uh. We sell them to raise money for mushrooms. More mushrooms. We must always have more. Yeah. Uh, nope. Not gonna spend my money for that. I might spend my money for a card. Card, 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 card. More damage during the night. Rolling will damage them. That might be interesting. And increases the movement speed. I'm gonna get this one. 
Movement speed is nice and all, but it's not that important in this game, I feel like. If I had some open world game, it would be the first thing I get. Okay, let's see what the mushroom has to say. Oh. Greetings, Traveller. Me. Why, I am Sozo, of course. Researcher of all things mushrooms. Guess that makes me a fun guy. Just a little joke Sozo likes to tell. Yes, yes, mushrooms. Mushrooms are Sozo's passion. But Sozo need more. Sozo always need more. We'll collect for Sozo. Yes, yes. Sozo can't trust my followers out there. They lie. They steal. They whisper secrets about Sozo. I just know it. Sozo will do anything. I'll worship at your altar. Sozo will devote just, uh, myself to your cause. I'll rip off your head. Wait, what? Ahem. Sozo will show you how to use the power of the mushrooms to open the fragile little minds of your followers. But you do not need to use it on Sozo. Oh no, Sozo will follow willingly. As long as you keep bringing Sozo mushrooms, Sozo will do anything. Take the path to Anura and find Sozo mushrooms. You may not have seen them before, but now you seek them, they shall be there for now. Oh, great, I'm missing a mushroom, but I planted a bunch. Okay, so I can get new follower forms here. Uh, I mean, it's a bit of a shame that a lot of these uh, cosmetics cost the same resource as, uh, well, other stuff as well, because I need my gold to upgrade my stuff first, and then I can worry about the cosmetics. So, I want to play a game of dice. Question is, how to do that? Oh, I can come back here and get more resources. Nice. Anyway, let's see if we can play another game of cards. Also, let's hit a follower form. Huh. Nice. Okay, I can play with him. But, oh, I thought I would unlock someone else. Anyway, let's go for a round. Ooh, six. Oh, one. Yep, let's destroy his. Hmm. I'm gonna put this here. Because I might still win that row, even with a two. Oh, and I can destroy his six. And he could have destroyed my six, but he prefers to win that row. Huh. Oh. Ah, so I can destroy two of his fours. And he destroyed my two, which is totally fine by me. Uh, let's go here, because he can't destroy that anymore. I'm gonna destroy his five. And that's the last one for me. And I win. Oh wow. 44 to 10. Nice. Seems fortune is not on my side. No matter, you played well. I would actually love to unlock other opponents. Okay, let's go down here as well, since uh, apparently they will get their devotion or whatever it's called back into stock. Oh, Lamb of the Light, may I beseech you once more for your aid. The lighthouse is in despair. We need to replace the crystal that reflects the light out to the sea. Would you... could you find such a material for us? We know not where to look, but you should... Uh, succeed. Oh, should you succeed, we will give you an offering in return. Sure. Bring crystals to the lighthouse keeper. 
Well, I would love to, but I have no idea where to find the crystals. Um. What? Okay, I think I dodged through the door by accident. Yes, okay. So it looks like you become... But you don't have a hitbox or something, some trigger box, when you dodge roll, which even works on doors. The more you know. What do we have here? Harvest bonus resources. 20% more damage during the day. I mean, it's pretty likely that I'm fighting in the day, so... Yep, gonna take that one. And more resources. That sounds useful as well. Um, what do the cards have in store today? Oops. I meant what cards do we have in store today? Well, none. Guide us, Mighty Lamp. I will. Okay. Time to have another look at our followers. Hopefully no one died this time around. I would really appreciate that. What do you want? I feel my bones creaking and my sight fading, yet my heart sinks, knowing that I have spent my life in your service, oh mighty lamp. Uh, they are old. What? I am too old and frail, great lever. I have but a few days left. Uh, what can I make them do? Murder them. <laughs> well, what can I do with old people? Propaganda, rituals, an outhouse, hmm. healing bay, janitor station, summoning circle, harvest totem. Well, I would love to have something that automatically harvests them. Compost farmer station, what is this gonna do? Okay. It will allow my followers to harvest. Okay, but that need, means uh, I need to get to the next level. Which I will get with eight more upgrades, so boy. Okay, let's do the outhouse, because I don't feel like cleaning up their shit, literally, every time. <laughs> Alright. And I need planks and gold, so I need to build the refinery. Which I could, if I had some gold for that, so I can sell off stuff. materials are not valuable. Okay. Let's say that's enough base management for a day. Lamp, lamp management, cult management. So with that, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.